symmetry analysis of designs of various cultures has been addressed by mathematicians since the early part of the 20th century. One example are the designs in the tilings that adorn the Alhambra Palace in Granada, Spain. This artwork, representative of Moorish culture, have been analyzed extensively by several mathematicians, such as Grunbaum and Shepard, for their high degree of planar symmetry. Another example is the stencil cloth and fabric from the Kakadrove province in Fiji. Professor Donald Crow, an American mathematician, has analyzed this cloth for its frieze pattern structure. Our country, the Philippines, is rich in cultural heritage. Textile or fabric is very much part of each indigenous community. Whether it is for practical purposes, for expression, for instance, to reflect status, achievement, or religious belief, or a part of social tradition and ceremony. The textile shows artwork and designs unique to each community. Each textile or fabric displays distinct algebraic and geometric structure which makes each piece interesting to study mathematically. In this presentation, we give a mathematical study of selected textile from the Floy Quintas collection. We analyze pieces from his Binacol and Pinilian collection, a Gadang shirt, an Itneg handkerchief, items from his Yakan Saputangan and Tausu Pishabit collection. A mathematical study of a repeated pattern in a cultural ornament, such as textile or a piece of cloth, entails investigating the pattern's symmetries. A repeated pattern has a basic discrete design element or a motif. Application of a symmetry, which in mathematics we refer to as a distance-preserving transformation, sends the motif to itself or repeats the motif systematically either along a strip or a planar surface. It can be proven mathematically that there are four symmetries in the plane. One symmetry is the translation. A translation shifts the motif, in this case a triangle, by a given distance along a line. The symmetry is indicated by a vector as shown to denote the distance and direction of the shift. A reflection, on the other hand, moves a motif along a line called a reflection axis, producing a mirror image. A rotation moves a motif about a center or fixed point at angular intervals. The symmetry is represented by a point or a polygonal figure that marks the location of the center of rotation. In this case, the square is used to indicate the center of a 90-degree rotation. Finally, a glide reflection is a transformation that is a combination of a translation and a reflection. For planar patterns, Three possibilities occur on how a motif is repeated by either one or a combination of these four symmetries. A finite symmetrical design is obtained by repetition of a motif using a center point, either using only rotations about the center or reflections about axis to the center.
If a repeating pattern admits translations in one direction, a pattern is called a freeze or a strip pattern. There are altogether seven symmetry classes of freezes or strip patterns. If a repeating pattern admits translations in two directions, the pattern is called a wallpaper pattern. There is a total of 17 symmetry classes of wallpaper patterns known. All repeating patterns in one or two dimensions can be classified to belong to exactly one of these seven or 17 symmetry classes respectively. This classification distinguishes geometrically one planar pattern from another. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in our next episode of Archives Unveiled, the Yuchenko Museum Online.